Hello replay viewers. Thank you for watching and hugging your friends. This is my cat. Hi Lucian. How are you doing this evening? Thank you for inviting your friends. I decided to come in here and practice with my cats because I haven't seen them all day. So we'll see how uh, that goes. They're, they're hungry. They want food. So they're probably going to be very interesting tonight. Hello! So, thank you for joining me on this Saturday night. Why is the lighting so dull seeming? That's so weird. It wasn't that dull on my regular camera. I may have to change that. Yeah, okay. I may have to go into the other room, actually. Dang it. This cat, he's like licking me. He's He craves attention. Um, for everyone who is here, thank you for being here. We are going to do the pose for today's challenge for Monkey Splits Gone Bananas. I already posted it on Instagram, and if you have no idea what Monkey Splits Gone Bananas is, then just go to the link in my bio, and it will have all of the details. But today's pose is seated head to knee pose. So we're going to do that, and then I'll actually do the flow based on all of the poses that were from this week. Ah! He's attacking me with sandpaper. Okay, kitty, I'm sorry I can't practice with you. It's too dark in here. I won't, they won't be able to see. I guess I gotta go to the other room. So, I'm gonna walk and talk. Um, okay, yeah, it's a lot brighter right here. That sucks. I should just change the light bulb. Um, da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I wasn't set up to do it in this room. My mom is line dancing, so I decided to practice in here today. All right, and we're ready. So who all in here is doing the Monkey Splits Gone Bananas Challenge? And have you already done today's pose? Because it is pretty easy and you could do it even from your couch. So it is seated head to knee pose. Now, I know it's called head to knee, however, I would almost rather you call it chest to knee so that you actually get a good stretch out of it um, versus head to knee. So that would be my only caveat. Now on Instagram, I already posted that you can start sitting on the floor. And when you do this, I like to always think of like pulling the meat from out from underneath me so that I'm really sitting straight down into the floor and not like tucked under because if you're anything like me when you sit in the couch you just kind of like hunch down and your butt tucks under so you want to pull it out from underneath you so you're actually going to be able to fold forward. Many people that I have taught this to it's incredible how they actually can stretch farther than they ever thought they could because the skin is actually letting loose back there. So make sure you like do that and it looks ridiculous, but you're going to be really excited with how much more loose it um, opens up your hips. So seated head to knee is normally done with your foot pulled in towards your groin. Now, because we are doing monkey splits on this one, I actually suggest going into a variation that looks kind of like a jazz split. So I turned my foot out instead. So you could be like, jazz split, ta-da. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. It just stretches a little bit differently on each one. Both of them, you should be thinking about putting both butt bones down towards the floor because the bent leg one is going to want to lift. So try to sit straight into it. All right, depending on where you're at, turn your torso towards your front straight leg. So the middle of your chest line should line up with the middle of your knee. And you're going to take a long, deep breath in to make your torso as long as it can go. And as you breathe out, fold forward and try to pull everything on your insides and let them out over the top of your leg. 
Now you should feel it stretching all the way back, the back through the thigh and the calf. You can touch your toes and pull your toes towards you to get it get a even deeper stretch. And just breathe here a few times. The goal isn't to actually roll into a little ball and touch your head to your knee, even though that's the common name of this move. Instead, the goal is to lengthen out your body and pull, pretty much just pull everything from the insides of you like you're pulling up a pair of high water pants and pull it up and lay it onto your leg. If your foot starts to turn out, try to keep the toes pointing up to the ceiling so that it stretches on both sides of the back of your leg. After you breathe here for a few minutes, you just do the other side. So switch legs, either pulling the knee towards the groin or rotating it back into a little jazz split. Pull the butt meat from out from underneath you and long lines reaching for the toes, trying to center the chest to the front leg, pull the toes toward your body, and breathe. And each time that you feel like everything's going to try to sink down, then pull your arms on your legs or your shin and pull it longer instead. So that way, if you do need some action in it, use elongating action rather than hunching action. All right, so that is today's pose, seated head to knee. And we will go ahead and put it together in a little flow from week two because this is the end of week two and most of the poses actually just naturally flow into each other. We'll have to find a fun little variation to get into this last one from where we ended. So hopefully you remember the poses that we were doing this week because we are about to put them all together. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Okay. So we started with a forward fold. So you breathe in and you had a forward fold, trying to bend at your hips, not your waist, lengthening your body. Forward fold went into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog led into three-legged dog, which led into warrior one. Warrior one led into triangle, triangle into runner's lunge. Runner's lunge into seated Head to knee. Oh, look at that. that. That flowed real nice, actually. And then back up to go to the other side. Down dog. Three-legged dog. Warrior one. Triangle. Runner's lunge. to seated, head to knee. Ta-da! So that's the little flow. If you have signed up for the full Monkey Splits Gone Bananas course, then you actually have a PDF that you can download on the Gumroad app or from your login page. So if you haven't checked those out yet, then you may want to download those sheets because there's space to make some notes and that way you have some flows to practice whenever you are doing them. All right, well, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we get to do a 
a bit of bananas stuff tomorrow since for the course it's actually a rest day and that's why we have the banana recipes and there will be a pose for the free challenge and I will post it on Instagram if you have not already checked it out you can check it out on um, Instagram under at box underscore edge. Namaste. Love you. Bye.